course I miss you, darling. This is the loneliest place on earth. The most exciting thing ever happens here is a day when it don't rain. Uh, excuse me, darling, I got some work to do. What the heck is that? Get on in here, Pete. We got us a big old asteroid on a three-week collision course with Earth. The asteroid has been named Attila after the war leader of the Huns, who devastated Europe just before the fall of the Roman Empire. Attila was first spotted in a tracking station in Borneo. According to NASA sources, the probability of impact with Earth is 99%. One, four, ignition. Boston Lowe said in the press conference last night. If the shuttle is the last hope of the human race, then it'll have to do the job, won't it? Wait a minute, folks. Let me introduce the landing team. Lutger Brink is a noted geologist. He'll evaluate our data on placement of the nuclear devices. We have to be accurate. The idea isn't to blow Attila to bits. If we did, some of the pieces would certainly hit Earth with devastating effect. And now I hardly have to introduce Maggie Robbins to you. She's probably the most well-known journalist in the world. Uh, Maggie, you're famous for having once said that you never put up with censorship in any form. Now you're under NASA command. Miss Robbins is a reporter by vocation, but on this mission she's... I think I can answer the question myself, Commander Lowe. Danny, I trained for this mission, and I have work to do in laying the nuclear charges. When I come home, I'll be a reporter and tell you all about it. But during the mission, I'm part of the team, and I will obey Commander Lowe like any good soldier. That may be the biggest news story of all. Maggie Robbins obeys orders. In going over your bios, I find that Professor Brink is also a noted archaeologist. While it's well known that Maggie is a prodigy at learning new languages, is this just coincidence? Not at all. We wanted the best and the brightest for this mission. Dr. Brink and Ms. Robbins are not narrow specialists. They are resourceful, widely educated, and creative thinkers. Does that apply to you too, Commander Lowe? My job is to keep everybody alive. I don't have to be bright. I just have to be careful. The other two crew members will remain with the shuttle. Ken Borden is the most experienced shuttle pilot we have. Cora Miles is our payload specialist. As you all know, she's a candidate for Congress, but we figured saving the planet is more important than campaigning. It's cheaper, too. Any parting message for the people of Earth? We have exactly one chance. And we've got to do it right. Let all your prayers be with us. Robin's here. 
going independent. Welcome to the wonderful world of space. Don't bump into anything. <laughs> I'll be careful, Commander. Break here, going independent. Howdy, Brink. Welcome to the place where geology and astronomy meet. A professor once told me, astronomers are geologists with clean hands and a squint. You going to quote him on that in some magazine, Robbins? I'm just part of the landing team right now, Commander Lowe. Load a payload, over. Yeah, 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 Boston, I'm on you. You, you wish. wish. In, In your, your dreams. dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for the deployment of the free fall tool chest. Is the crew clear of the area? Crew is clear. Proceed. with the pig, Cora? Looking sweet, Boston. You just be good to my baby. Load a landing team. I'm taking the pig down to the surface. Follow me. You be good to my baby, Boston, you hear me? We'll be back soon, Cora. Try not to miss me too much. Blow out. Let's see if we can clear up old Attila's complexion. Nice and smooth now. Shuttle, this is low. We're placing the explosive in quadrant two. Acknowledged. Could you give me a hand with this brink? I'll be right there, Commander Low. Excellent work, Brink. Ken, the charge is set. Instruments confirmed. Hey, I'm just so proud of you boys. Look at the pretty red light, boys and girls. I'd say this charge is armed. I'm jamming the shovel in under the boulder, then using maximum down thrust to pry it up. Does that sound workable? Well, I'm a little short on data about the tensile strength of shovel handles and zero-g under maximum thrust conditions. In other words, who knows, 
might work. Boss, be careful. If the handle breaks, maximum down thrust will smash you right into Attila. You know the saying, whether the stone hits the glass or the glass hits the stone, it ain't gonna hurt the stone. Thanks for the encouragement, Ken. Frank, if this actually works, the boulder's going to come flying straight at you. Better fly clear. Thanks for the warning. Looks like it worked. Now aren't you glad I made sure the tool chest had a shovel in it? My rule is, if you can pick it up, take it with you, because you never know when you might need it. I have the same rule, Cora, but I thought it only applied to women in bars. If you can pick her up... <laughs> Careful, Ken. You don't want to find yourself getting quoted as a sexist pig in Maggie's article. I'm not here to spy on you. Lighten up, Robbins. They're just teasing you. If they thought you were really a spy, they'd never talk freely on the open frequency. Shuttle, this is low. Now placing the explosive on the face of the asteroid in Quadrant 3. Yeah, acknowledged. I need another hand here, Brink. Of course, Commander. This asteroid has a pair of landing lights now, kids. Stick a fork in us, we're done. Who writes your material, Commander? I get it all out of the newspapers, Robbins. Let's head back to the shuttle and watch Attila do the old fire dance. Like carbon paper, boss. Both nukes are in place and armed. We made pretty good time, I think. Looks good, boss. Come on back inside for the fireworks. Confirm everybody inside. All in, Cora. All clear payload. All clear landing team. All clear shuttle. Confirm doors closed. Doors closed. Explosives armed. Houston gives us the go ahead. Say when, boss. Do it. Now let's see, is it the big green triangle or the little red circle? Shut up and push, Ken. My baby's getting impatient. Here we go. We have detonation, alpha and beta. What are the instruments showing? Nothing big coming our way. What's the pig telling us, Cora? Attila's still in one piece. Hmm, there's a lot of seismic bounce, some, some fracturing. We're stable again. A radioactivity in Quadrant One is well within the safe range. What does Houston say, Ken? Everything's go for a surface walk and your option. Then let's go, landing team. Let's see what Attila looks like after plastic surgery. Be careful, kids. Attila is more dangerous now than before we tamed him. Those were certainly profound first words to speak under its new moon. I'm not making speeches, Robbins. I'm concerned about keeping everybody alive. Commander, I can collect rock samples later. Right now, I would like to get below the surface down into that tunnel. 
gonna do it eventually. We might as well do it now. You agree, Robbins? I'm game for it. I've called the pig. We'll send it on ahead to light the way. Remember, any rock may be loose, and any wall may collapse at any time. Please be careful, everyone. Cora, send down the pig, please. We'll need the light. Anything unusual, Brink? It's hard to determine how this tunnel was formed. It wasn't created by the explosion. No, no, it's very ancient. The explosions opened the door, but this tunnel. Old, but not as old as the asteroid. What does that mean? I don't know yet. It just feels unnatural. There are some odd projections near the bottom of this tunnel that don't seem to belong here. Look at this, Brink. This can't be natural. Definitely not. A metal plate. Definitely an artifact. An artifact? But who could have put something like this in a tunnel? Yes, yes. I think it's clear. Wherever Attila came from, there was someone there. Could this be part of some kind of message? Like the one NASA put in Voyager. If it's a message, I don't understand it. Whatever it is, we've got to tell Houston immediately. Negative, Robbins. I'm clamping down total security as of this moment. You've got to be kidding. You've been telling me all along you just want to be an ordinary member of the mission. I've had secret orders all along to look for any sign of alien presence on this rock. And now that we've found it, my instructions are clear. What I want to hear from both of you right now is I understand, Commander. I understand and agree, Commander Lowe. There is nothing to be gained from a premature announcement. Robert. I understand, Commander Lowe. Ken. Ken, Lowe here. I read you, boss. Tell Houston that I said Attila's a real hun. What? Is that some kind of joke? Just tell them, Lord. You'll receive new communication protocols immediately afterwards. Oh, cool. This is like a secret code. Just thank Cora. You're the only one in Congress who knows anything about this. Houston says the message is received and they're transmitting new codes. We're getting back to work down here, Ken. Low out. I'm giving this baby a little push. If that doesn't work, Commander, give it a big push. The plate just dropped down inside something. The plate is gone? I may be criticized for it later, but I'm gonna dig out one of these odd projections. It's your decision, Commander. It's another metal plate. I wish there were some sort of inscription. I've heard of putting a message in a bottle, but never in a big rock. I'm going to push another one. I wish we could be sure we weren't destroying whatever message they meant us to receive. It seems to me that if they didn't mean us to push these metal plates, we wouldn't be able to push them. Here's number three. It disappeared too. Here's the last one. Well, we've done it. Whatever it is we did. Well, here goes nothing. We're with you, Commander.
So, the asteroid is hollow. Time to update you. Slow the shuttle. Static. Must be all this rock. We're cut off. Should we go back outside and call them? Nah, they can sit tight for a few more minutes while we poke around. Someone turned me inside out twice. It's a little difficult to move now. That's because we've got gravity. Planet-type gravity. We're not inside the asteroid anymore. And the pressure is equalized. There's an atmosphere. Can we breathe it? Our suits are checking that automatically. Here we are. Yes, it's at least as breathable as the air in L.A. Of course, there's always the danger of airborne infectious agents. I don't think so. Alien microbes should be no threat to us. They have not evolved to make use of our cell structures. The oxygen in our suits won't last long anyway. I say we take them off and save the remaining oxygen for the return trip. If there is a return trip. Yeah, tastes good. Hmm. Surprise, surprise. Attila was a spaceship all along. A starship. Faster than light. We're not in our own solar system. No planet but Earth has an atmosphere like this, and this ain't Earth. After so many years of bad TV shows and crackpots with phony pictures, here is the real proof. There is alien life. Load a cockpit. Over. Load a payload. Over. Yeah, I'd say we're out of range. Way out of range. I don't see any aliens coming to greet us. For all we know, it might have been a million years since these people sent out Attila, and they long since died out. I don't know about you, but I didn't pack a lunch. Or a can of pop. Well, we might as well look around and learn what we can about this place. We might be here a while. Where are you going, Lo? I was gonna check for water or some way out of here. I think we should remain together. Fine. Follow me. This is no longer a space expedition, though. This is an archaeological dig. Therefore, I am the obvious leader. Fine. Whenever we need to dig something up, you can use the shovel. In the meantime, our first business is to survive. Our second task is to get home. We need to work together, and I'm still the commander of this mission. You don't know any more about surviving on an alien world than I do. Boston is right, Ludger. 
He's the one with experience in survival, and we need someone in command. This is no time for a foolish power struggle. All right, I agree. For now. Fantastic! Look! More proof of alien life. Do you think there's anyone, or anything, alive? It seems someone had to have been here. Let's hope they're peaceful, or gone. Can you tell anything about what these people look like from the interior of their ship? All this rust. Corrosion. Perhaps animals have moved things around. Hard to know what we're looking at. Let me look. Try not to disturb anything. We might need this wire later. I'm gonna see if I can pull it down. First, shouldn't you turn the power off at the breaker box? What? That was a joke, Lo. Oh, yeah. Ha. Huh. Stand back in case something comes down on our heads. Look at it. It's beautiful. Changing shapes, mathematical progressions of ever more complex polyhedrons. Next time I suggest pulling a wire. No, no, I'm glad you did. What could that have been? Not a random electrical discharge. Maybe it's a kind of computer display. Maybe to the aliens who piloted this ship it conveyed some meaningful information. But to me, it means absolutely nothing. Did any of you see... Was this here before that thing appeared? Of course it was. Do you think an electrical field can carry a solid object? It still might be useful. Well, I don't see any treasure, but there is something in here. When we get back, the engineers are gonna have a field day trying to figure out how this worked. Not just plants, but creatures, too. I'm not an archaeologist, but these look like bones to me. But they are not lying where the animal died. They were placed here. Mark us. A grave? Best guess. And now a home for those rat-like things. Are you just going to dig right in? With a shovel? You will destroy the site. I'm not doing archaeology right now, Brink. I'm looking for something to help get us home. Your name will live forever. As the bone-headed space hero who destroyed precious data at the first alien archaeological site. That's better than having my name live forever. As a commander of an expedition that disappeared and was never heard from again. Now get out of the way if you aren't going to help, Brink. This might take a while.
What a fine accomplishment, Commander. Now we have a pile of meaningless dirt and bones. Maybe not. You never know when an alien bone will prove useful. This is light, but it feels as strong as steel. What do you think? Was this the skull of a sentient being? Or a pet? Or a beast of burden? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's dead. It's a strange shaped jawbone. The teeth still look strong. Do you think we could climb this slope? No use. It doesn't go up all the way to the top. The engravings on this wall, are they writing or decoration? You're asking us? It seems to be pointing at this mound. With that device pointing at this mound, I suspect there might be something buried here. How scientific of you, Commander. Another random hole bulldozed by our fearless leader. Maybe not. I thought I saw something shining. An artifact. It looks like a bracelet. I think we can safely say this is not a natural weather phenomenon. How about a mirage? Anyone voting for it being a mirage? It knew we were here. It was trying to tell us something. Or show us something. Don't be too quick to anthropomorphize. How do we know what life looks like here? It might be alive. Or it might be some kind of automatic guidance system. We triggered it in that ruined ship and now it's leading us. You mean this is the last gasp of a holographic tour guide? Or the Port Authority. Maybe it's telling us we're under arrest. Come quietly or self-aiming lasers will toast us to cinders in 15 seconds. Stop it. Maybe you can think that's funny, but the last thing I need is some mischievous boy trying to give me the creeps. If I wanted to give you the creeps, I'd tell you that it was the ghost of a long-dead alien. How do you know it isn't a ghost? What? You think this is where aliens end up when they die? If it is, then this place better be hell, because it sure isn't my idea of heaven. Now you're starting to give me the creeps. I'm gonna see if I can enlarge the hole. Maybe there's something under here. Yeah, maybe something lives down in that hole. <laughs> the utterances of experts. The ground is soft here. Loose. I think this used to be an opening and over the years wind has filled it up with sand and dirt. Here, let me see. Yes, that's right. You're probably right. That means the ground is treacherous. It could be hollow under there. Commander, I think it's time for an archaeologist to do the digging. I'm used to dealing with drifted soil. The shovel is yours, Brink. Just be careful. The ground's pretty unstable. My feet kept sinking. My whole training is to be careful. Not to charge in with guns blazing. Finally, a good use for my extensive training. No! It's completely... I can't... No! Ah! Break! I couldn't get to him in time. I couldn't. It happened too fast. 
Can we get down there? How long a drop is it? Looks like the rubble has formed a ramp. Follow me. Here he is. He's not moving. Brink. Boston. He's dead. I should have been the one digging. Then you'd be the dead one. It was my responsibility to. Brink and I are not children or trained monkeys. We're responsible adults. It could have been any of us, and there's not a thing you could have done to prevent it. But I... To lose Brink, and we've only been up here. Look, you can't keep me safe, and I can't keep you safe. So there's no particular reason for us to stay together. Our odds of getting back to Earth are better if we work separately on figuring this place out. I don't like the idea of splitting up. Why? Because we're safer together? Ask Brink about that. Because maybe I won't know what I'm seeing without you to help me understand it. If you find something interesting, the communicators still work. Till then, adios. Ciao. Sayonara. A Wiedersehen. Maggie, it's against every rule of military action for an officer to be separated from his command. Boston, this isn't a military action. And you don't have a command. There's just you and me, and we both know exactly the same amount about this situation, which is to say, nada, nothing, zip. If we suddenly find ourselves facing an army, then you're in command again. Until then, adios, ciao, sayonara, a Wiedersehen. Nobody likes you when you smart off like that. Yeah, all my psychological tests as a kid said that I didn't work well with others. So this is what failure feels like. Looks like one of the control plates we found on Attila. Another one of these engraved sticks. What are they? Wands? Batons? Bludgeons? Maybe some kind of handheld computer game. With my luck, it's a hand grenade. It's hot here, and it's glowing down there. Ten to one, it's the power source for this place. All I need to do now is to find the light switch, or the plug, or the fuse box, or whatever makes this thing work. An instruction manual might help, maybe a map, and I could use a sandwich, and a hot jukebox, and a cold beer, or just a starship headed for home.
I hope this was a good idea. So what is through this door? A death trap? A mad scientist with a pretty girl and a talking robot? An alien cafeteria? Why am I just standing here? After all, as Brink found out, the worst thing that can happen is you can take one wrong step and you're dead. So much for the cafeteria idea. Boston, are you there? They use geometric shapes as a kind of combination for the locks. Boston, you won't believe where I am. I'm in a place filled with alien technology, the most fantastic things I've ever seen. And the machines are working. What are they doing? I don't know yet. I mean, they're really alien. Like nothing I've seen before. Don't go too fast, Maggie. I'll be careful, Boston. But it's not like we have time to use correct scientific procedures to test these things. Where are you? How can I get to you? I wish I knew. It's a sure thing you can't get here the way I did. I slid through a low tunnel in the rock, and then it kind of got filled with debris when the roof collapsed. You could have been killed. Gee, I guess this isn't safe. But if we'd been together, whoever went through the crack second would definitely have been killed. Keep that in mind when you're thinking about coming to save me. I handled it just fine. Yeah, I guess you did. We're both doing okay, Boston. We'll find a way to connect up with each other when it matters. Uh, Maggie, good work. Thanks, Boston. Now I know what my pet hamster felt like. I need some help to pry this door open. ghost. The last one pointed the way down into the Nexus. Of course, that's how Brink died. Doesn't look safe to walk there. A bunch of displays set into the walls. Inscriptions here and there. I'd say it looks like some kind of museum. Symbols written on a plate. Looks like an alphabet. Strange glowing crystals. Boston! Maggie, I found you! I wasn't aware that I was missing. You know what I mean. I found a way to get where you are. Through the museum, back that way. That's nice, Boston. If that's the museum, then I guess this is the library. 
I found out how to open doors back in the Nexus. There's a tram that leads out here. Look, Boston, I think it's great you're finding things out, but I'm trying to concentrate here. I feel like I'm so close to making sense of some of this stuff, and I just want to stay here and keep working. All right? Sure, of course. I just... Anyway, I know where to find you, and you know how to get out of here if you want to. Thanks. Yes. When I learn something, I'll call you on the box, okay? All right. All right, yes. I, I won't bug you anymore right now. Another one of these engravings on a stick. Shot in the dark, but here goes nothing. Frank, are you okay? I feel... I feel fine. What happened? I remember digging, and the ground gave way under me. Frank, you've been dead for several hours. <laughs> you Americans, always exaggerating. I assure you, Brink, no pulse, no breath, dead. I wish I knew how these life crystals work. Where's the crystal? I have to see it. I wasn't sure it would work on a human being. Our cellular structures must be very similar. Boston, it didn't just bring me to life. It brought me to life. I feel more powerful, more energetic, more alive than I've ever felt before. Maggie, do you read me? Yes, I do. I hope this is important. I think so. Frank isn't dead anymore, Maggie. You have a very sick sense of humor. Goodbye. No, wait! I'm serious. Deadly serious. Brink! I can't believe it. It was a crystal I found in the museum. A crystal that heals the dead. If we ever get back home, this will change the world. It'll change everything. It's not just being alive again, Maggie. I feel perfect. I feel like I never knew what good health was until today. Now it's all the more important we find a way home. It's always kind of important to me. Keep exploring, Boston. I'll get back to work on the language. You got it, Maggie.
Uh-oh. The other trams came as soon as I called them. Maybe there are some controls somewhere. Frank, would you give me a hand with this? Sure. On three. One, two, three. That was the longest visit from a ghost yet. The whole display centered on this basin. It's full of crystals. Are these the life crystals? Like the one you used to bring me back to life? They look like it. Then it couldn't be more clear. These life crystals are the reason they brought us to this world. They have found the secret of life, and they want to share. Weren't you watching, Brink? I don't care what language you speak, that ghost shaped itself like a skull. It was warning us. These crystals are dangerous. It was the symbol of death, Lo. These crystals are the antidote for death. That's what it meant. What if there are side effects? Did you think of that? The side effect is that I feel better than I ever felt before. If you had used a life crystal on yourself, your mind would also be as clear as mine. And you'd see that there is nothing more important than getting these crystals and using them. Brink, I think you're wrong. I think we need to be careful. These aliens are kind and good, Commander. They have given us a gift. Yeah? Well, if this is all so perfect, where are these aliens? Maybe they've moved on to a higher plane of existence. Or maybe they're all dead. <laughs> See how badly your brain is working. How could they be dead? They invented these life crystals. Commander, I feel sorry for you. Still tied down by an ordinary mind and ordinary fears. But I feel too good to want to argue with you. Believe what you want. I'm taking as many of these crystals as I can carry. Well, I'm gonna take some for study back on Earth. I'm just not gonna use them. But you will, Commander. Maybe I should take one more life crystal.
plenty of water here. If it's drinkable, then we won't die right away. We'll have plenty of time to starve to death. <laughs> Hey, Brink, do you think... Brink? Brink? Where are you? Brink, answer me. Brink, can you hear me? Where are you? Maggie, Brink's run off. He wasn't acting very rational when we found a big supply of life crystals. I'm afraid maybe those things are addictive, or they altered his personality or something. A ghost tried to warn us, but Brick was feeling too cocky to listen to good advice. Just when this place starts looking benign, it finds new ways to be dangerous. Anyway, I'm going on without him. I can't think of anything else to do. I'll try to contact him now and then, see if he's willing to talk. Thanks, Maggie. I'm beginning to take this personally. Nobody wants to stay with me. Maybe it's my deodorant. I think it failed somewhere back there on Attila. You just need a little something to make you complete, my friend. Maybe this will give you indigestion. Mr. Sure packs a punch. Now that the water is safe for swimming, I think it's time to see what's in that underwater cave. Another engraving. Looks like one of the control plates we found on Attila.
First time I ever did the wave all by myself. Just needs a little adjustment. That should have turned on another light bridge, and it didn't. Bummer. I guess when you abandon machinery long enough, it's going to get out of adjustment. Okay, so maybe it needs a little more adjustment. The way things have been going, I can pretty much bet that whatever that little beast just stole, I'm gonna want it really badly in a minute or two. Place for everything and everything in its place. Scavengers have picked these ribs clean, but the animal can't have been dead very long because the rib cage is still holding together. A thin metal plate with a button on it. A short metal dowel. That's a nice fit. If only I had some bait for this trap, but I'll just have to play sheepdog. There's something moving in here. Now I've got you. If I let you out, you'll head for the place where you hide nice shiny machinery parts. The only trouble is, how am I going to follow you? Go, little creature. Roam free, wherever your thieving little heart desires. A thin metal rod. Sorry, friend, but your little house is about to get a big front door. That looks big enough to squeeze through. It's got to be right under here. This is where the tracker's pointing. What if I hadn't brought this shovel along? No, that's not worth thinking about. The 
critter sure didn't like that. He took off down one of his tunnels. Now maybe I can get the door open. Now with any luck, this will work. Now let's get this thing closed up and see if it works. Open sesame. Another one of these engraved sticks. The scepter seems to have an electrical charge. No! Why is that door closing? He didn't steal that part again, did he? I'm trapped in here? Ha! The controls still work on this side. This looks like a command center.
There's an undersea tunnel leading into the base of a nearby island. Let's see if this plate can be moved. Could this be some sort of burial chamber? See if we can pry the cover off.
see if we can get something flowing from this broken conduit on the floor. If I don't electrocute myself in the process. I should have been an electrician. Amazing map system. You don't even have to refold it when you're done. So there is more to that crypt than I first thought.
So this is what's in the guts of these machines. Pretty impressive for someone who never took a class in alien physics. There's something smooth under the dirt. A lens. Light must pass through it down into... I worry this statue is life-sized. I hope I don't get kicked out for destroying the exhibit. Now that I know what I'm looking for, maybe I can get this slab out of the way. Suddenly we've got guard dogs. Where did he come from anyway? Look, it's the ugly twins. out rather well. The door evaporated when the engraving touched the slot. This is the engraving we found in the shipwreck. The one the first ghost gave us. This must be where the ghost wanted us to come all along. This is the land of the life crystals. Dead doesn't necessarily mean dead dead. Maybe they were trying to keep it from being found and revived. But this is where the ghost wanted us to go. The key to the last door was the key that the first ghost showed us, back in the ruined spaceship. Still, you don't have a key to the pyramid, right? Besides, how do you know the ghost is our friend? Brink died by digging where the ghost pointed. I hate not having enough information. I'm working as fast as I can to get this stuff translated. I'm so close, I can taste it. Fine, keep working. Call me if you think of anything helpful. He's very tall, or I'm very short. I wish I didn't keep thinking of the term bite size. Please be friendly. I hope you're friendly. I'm certainly friendly. 
Let's all be friends. Naham Chianak Twestalum, Kalatisia Nea Um, Eklash Park. Well, hey, thanks. It's been great talking to you. So long. You can go back to sleep now or whatever. Ihr Klatzig, Klatzig Star. I'd better tell Maggie about this. Maggie. Come in, Maggie. Yes? What? Maggie, you won't believe what just happened. Boston, I think I've got it. I've got the language. I can read this stuff now. Can you speak it? Because I've got this... Well, take this inscription here. I'm pretty sure it's talking about... Maggie? My mind must be playing tricks on me. What were you saying about... Ah! What are you? What do you want? What's happening? What's going on? Boston! Brink! Anybody! <laughs> Maggie! Brink! Come in! Wherever you are, we need you! Something's happened to Maggie! Damn. Come on, guys. Let's get a look at you. No! Go away! I will, Brink. After you help me find Maggie. I'm not going to waste one moment on such a meaningless task. Yes, you will, Brink. If you ever want these life crystals back. You're a miserable bully, Low. Typical military mind. Pushing other people around. Right. So follow me and do as you're told. Is that rational enough for you? Maggie, is that you? Are you all right? Oh. How can she be all right? She's bound up in that web. Brink. The 
Unless we want to end up where Maggie is, we've got to get by this thing. The obvious plan is for one of us to distract him while the other one slips by. Maybe you are thinking better. You want to sneak or distract? I'll be the diversion. Come here, you phlegm, carapace, slime-faced, mucus-brained, furry-legged abductor of luminously intelligent but pulchritudinous earth women. Lo, you idiot! Why are you standing there? I'm still trying to figure out what you said. Move your silly buttocks, you fool! Boston? Where are you going? I'm over here. Don't leave me. At this point, I'm ready to try any damn thing. Where were you? This monster has me trapped. Boston? Where have you been? I've diverted some of the water from the falls. I thought some of it might flow through here and wash the monster away. Well, instead, the monster's got Brink trapped up there, and I'm still stuck down here. Brink. There's a grate down by Maggie. If you can lure the monster over toward it, then when Maggie unclogs the grate, the water I diverted will hit it like a fire hose. This is seriously your plan? Do you have a better one? Maggie, can you get the grate open? Has anybody thought of the fact that if it does spout water like a fire hose, I'm right here? That's a good point, Maggie. Hold on tight. How do I hold on tight when I'm unclogging a grate? That's why you get the big bucks. Do it, then. Just do it. It's only my life, anyway. Come on, you ponderous exoskeleton. You cocoon-eating, lobster-faced, cave-dwelling, arthropoidal, elementary sphincter muscle! Maggie, you made it. How's my hair? You're worried about your... I was joking, Boston. You know, like you strong, manly types do when you just about get killed. Maggie's safe now. I satisfied our little deal. So give me my crystals and let me get back to work. Brink, it's time for us to work together on... I said give them to me! Take one more step closer, Maggie, and you'll wish you were back with that giant lobster. He sure is weird. Now what? I've been getting the feeling that the ghosts want us to help them. As if they were stuck and wanted out. Stuck how? Well, the library console seemed to indicate that they may have left this world for another. What if they want to come back, but can't? I don't know. How will we go about helping, assuming that's what they want, and they wouldn't need us when they got back? Beats me. I'm just interpreting.
Can you look at this inscription, Maggie? Does it say anything that might help? Boston. It exactly describes that strange field of almost light. What does it say? It's a set of instructions. Now it makes perfect sense. I just twist this. Everything's so simple when you read the directions. If we didn't know better, we'd think that island had been there for a million years. What was so important that they left us exact instructions on how to get here? Maybe that metal plate over there. That's the fourth one. If it's like the metal plates on Attila, these four should fit together in that triangle matrix. Yes, but there's no guarantee that putting them together will take us anywhere we want to go. You have the most cheerful thoughts, Ms. Robbins. If you had been abducted by a monster and then half drowned, you might be pessimistic too. But you lived, didn't you? And your hair looks terrific again. You sure know how to make a girl feel good. We'd better go find Brink again. In case these metal plates do the job. He threatened to kill me the last time I saw him. Maybe it would be safer if we leave him and send an expedition back to get him later. An armed expedition. There's no guarantee we'll ever get back. For all we know, this is a one-way trip. You're right. We can't leave him. He scares me, Boston. Worse than the monster. They're both just hungry for something. But Brink is smarter. More dangerous. We're smart, too. Let's go. That was a powerful one. Commander Low, can you hear me? Brink, we're looking for you. We've got the last of the metal plates and we... Listen to me, Commander. I'm trapped. I need your help. Where are you? It's near one of the light bridges. An arched bridge over a waterfall and then into a crevice in the rock. You must have been there. You're the one who's been turning on all the light bridges, aren't you? Hold tight, we're on our way. Hold tight? Very funny.
You just got your hand jammed in the rock? I thought you were in real trouble, Brink. Uh, when would it be real trouble, Commander? When it's your hand? I don't go sticking my hand in the cracks. I was reaching for a life crystal, and then the rock shifted. My circulation is cut off. No blood is getting to my hand. You can't pull me out, Commander. Don't leave me to die here, even if you have to cut off my hand. Don't be so dramatic, Brink. Nobody's going to cut off your hand. Don't make promises you might not be able to keep, Maggie. Are you serious? He's just got a stuck hand. It's a race to see whether gangrene kills him before he dies of thirst or starvation. You'd cut it off. Of course he would. The military trains you to recognize necessity and do it. It would be easier if I had anything to cut it with. Chew it off then! Oh, I would, Brink. But human teeth can't bite through bone. After all that's happened to us, this may be the most horrible. Do something, Commander! Do it now! You're going to saw off his hand with a jawbone? The teeth are razor sharp. What about anesthetic? Do it, Commander! Brace yourself, Frank. I can't believe you endured so much pain without fainting. I'm fine. But I need more crystals. Come with us to the Triangle Matrix. We've got all the metal plates. We think it's gonna take us home. You don't know where it's going to take you. I'd rather gather more life crystals. What if it does take us home, Brink? What if we can't come back and get you? Do you want to stay here forever? Then what will happen to your research into the life crystals? Yes, I see your point. I'll go with you to try out these metal plates. But if it doesn't get us home, then you two will stop interfering with me from then on. All right? You agree we have a deal? Agreed. All right, all right. That should do it. Do what? What's happening? Nothing is happening, that's what. That's not exactly nothing, Brink. It's a door. You think Earth is on the other side? I think nothing is on the other side. What did you expect? The Tooth Fairy to come and fly us all home? The door opened. Let's go see what's in there. We had a deal. I came, these metal plates did not take us home, and now you will have to leave me alone forever. You gave me your word, and I expect you to keep it. He is definitely insane. Is that your opinion as a journalist? It's my opinion as a sane person.
Looks like some kind of large machine. What does it do? I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think it might send us home? Right now, it's doing nothing. It looks like there's a part missing here. There's a gap. Sorry, Bird. You'll have to find a new home. Here's where my alien education either pays off, or we die. Die? As long as I don't accidentally offend him, we'll be okay. Aklash Park. He says, open your mouth, which is their way of saying, speak. You do the talking, Maggie, so you can understand each other. Speak. Why was your tomb so carefully hidden? So only the most persistent, the most clever, and therefore the most dangerous of visitors would find me. Why has your body been preserved so carefully? Since all the evil in this place was my fault, I chose to be its guardian forever. 
If what you did was bad, why did the museum displays give you so much honor? There was a time when my creations were thought to be good. I believed it myself, or I would never have created them. How long will you remain here? Until the last of my mistakes is rectified, or until the life crystals lose their power out of miserable death. We want to go home. That is the wish of all living creatures. It is a vain wish. For there is no true home. All intelligence wanders, and has no rest. The probe you sent out brought us here. We want to go back to our home planet. Another one of our terrible mistakes. We sent out those probes when we thought we had found the glorious secrets of the universe. We could not call them back. Thus, I remain here to warn all those who come in answer to an invitation we wish we had not sent. Warning us won't do any good unless we can get back home to Earth to tell other humans. There are two ways to protect your planet. One is if you return and warn them to stay away. The other is if you never return at all. Which warning do you think will be more effective? Tell us how to get back to Earth. I beg you. If my people could return from space-time six where they have gone, they would rebuild the starport. They would make a crystal ship which would take you back to your planet. But they will never find their way back home. The light bridges are magnificent. We never dreamed that people could walk on light. Ah, yes. We were happily surprised at how convenient those light strands turned out to be. If we had known, we would not have bothered to build the trams. If you were surprised that the lights could be used as bridges, what did you create them for? When all the bridges are complete, the eye will see. When you say the eye will see, you aren't talking about our eyes, are you? An eye that can see the three dimensions of time, as well as the three dimensions of space. It will show you beauty beyond belief. But once you have seen space-time 6, will you ever see space-time 4 again? The eye may be open, but the mind hasn't the strength to see. The machine in your laboratory, what does it do? Where the lights all shine, it opens the eye. The eye. Does that mean the crystal at the meeting place of the light bridges? The machine generated this eye. The eye sees into all space and time. And where the eye sees, the mind can fly. Was this eye the doorway into the place where your people went? A door that can be crossed only one way. You don't know that. If someone has a strong enough tie to reality... Do you think you are stronger than all my people? Even they. The strongest race known could not overcome the temptation before it was too late. If we bring your people back to this world, then they can build a starship to take us home to Earth. It's our only chance. Maybe we'll fail, but you must let us try. Since you think you are stronger and wiser than my people, I will let you have the fruit of your pride. I will tell you how to find the peace I hid if you know how to ask. But it will cost you more than you ever imagined. Please, don't play any more games with us. Where is the missing piece? You cannot understand what will begin if you activate the eye. You cannot bear to pay what it will cost you. Yes, you've warned us. Now where is the piece? Go to the map with this message and see what it shows you. I have said enough. The island we found, where was it hidden? It left this reality, but only a little way. It can come back, because it never fully left. 
The island moves in and out of our reality? It loses substance with every passage. We thought we could take our world with us into Space Time 6. It could not be done. When something leaves our reality, where does it go? To a place where time is infinite in all directions. But because it does not move along a single line, it can never be predicted or controlled. Those who go there from here cannot change anything. They are nothing but observers. Forever. The creatures who live here now, did you people know of them or did they come later? Millions of years have passed since then. What once were pets or companions have followed their own evolutionary paths. They have become as beautiful or as terrible, as clever or as stupid as it was in them to be. The monster who captured me, are there any more of them? That one did not evolve. It was made. And there are as many of them as are needed. Who are you, Honored One? The bringer of misfortune. Please, tell me who you are. I am the doer who undoes. The creator who uncreates. And yet, I would gladly be the destroyer who undestroys. The dangerous one who protects. Speak plainly. Tell us who you are. Once, I was hailed as the greatest mind my people ever produced. I tried to bring them power and happiness. I gave them power to leave this world, to leave their bodies, to enter an existence as pure mind, eternally perfect. But I could not give them the power to return and reclaim their abandoned bodies, their decaying world. They are lost and cannot return. Have you a name? I had a name when I was alive. Now that I am again and again dead, what need have I for names? My body is now so ancient that the crystals scarcely have power over me. I rise for a few minutes, and then I fall again. Soon, I will cease to rise at all. Only then will my grief end. I want no name or memory to live after me. Did you invent the life crystals? To raise the dead is the greatest achievement we've seen. What raises the dead can debase the living. Are there side effects to the crystals? What the crystals create is not a life, but a slave. So when the life crystals restore you, you aren't really alive? They restore the cells and the organs, but take away all that made the life worth living. Then why did you make them? Our society became obsessed with living eternally. I underestimated the breadth and danger of the obsession. The crystals are the second worst mistake I made. Thank you for helping us. I will only have helped you when you give up your foolish plan. We're not giving up. My only consolation is that true death comes closer with each dying. Good job of translating, Maggie. He speaks very slowly and clearly, but I'm also pretty damn good.
So that's where the part is. Assuming he gave us the right code. This place is as creepy as the forest behind my house when I was a kid. Maggie, come on across. I wish I knew what's going to happen when I get this piece back in place. Where have you been? Where have we been? I need your crystals. All of them. Right now! Come on, Brink. How many crystals can one man use? Not for me, you fools. I need them for my machine. For science. Research! Give them to me! Machine? What are you talking about? I'm through talking! I'm not going to let anybody stand between me and the greatest scientific achievement in history. I only have these few crystals left, Brink, but I'll be glad to share some of them if you want. All of them! You didn't share anything, Lo. I took them! And it's a good thing you didn't fight me. I would have killed you to get these. You would have tried. You two will be nothing but a footnote in the annals of my achievements. 
He didn't damage the machine part, did he? Get away from here! I won't let you break my life crystal machine! We don't want to break anything. My machine isn't working yet. Yes, gloat if you want to. I've studied all the inscriptions. Maggie's not the only one who can decipher strange languages. I followed the plans I found, but there's still something missing. And without it, the machine won't work. So if you think you can steal my life crystals again, Commander Lowe, think again. I'll kill you first, and believe me, no one will ever revive you. Actually, you've robbed me twice, and I only robbed you once. So you're still one ahead. Don't joke with me! Don't joke with him, Boston. I don't want that. It's just another artifact. Brank, this is important. I think I know what piece is missing from your machine. How can you know anything about this? You're not a scientist. You're just a strutting tin soldier. I think it's the same piece that the eye generator needed. I think it's the key to all this technology. The alien inventor hid it because without it, none of the machines he considers dangerous will work. Why would the creator of life crystals think they were dangerous? Because the crystals make you feel so good that they take over your life. All you care about is getting more of them. He said it was the second worst mistake he'd made. And the worst mistake? The eye. So you and Maggie, you keep telling me I'm crazy. <laughs> but you plan to make an even worse mistake. I'll make you a deal, Brink. Yes, like the deal you made before. I keep my part, but you go back on it. I didn't go back on it, I just wanted to talk about it with you first. No deals with liars and thieves. Brink, you need what I have to make your machine work. But if it works, then you'll have plenty of life crystals, right? You could share them with us and it wouldn't cost you anything, right? If you have the missing parts, yes. That's my deal. Your machine, my part. 50-50 on the life crystals. I know you plan to cheat me. We won't even come near the machine when it's running. You divide up the life crystals. Then what's to stop me from keeping them all? Because I am trained as a military man, Brink. And if I ever actually decide to fight you, I don't care how strong and healthy you are. You will lose. And then I will take them all. Got it? Get your missing part and put it in my machine. Even liars and thieves can bargain as long as they watch each other very carefully. It fits perfectly. This is how the aliens designed the life crystal machine to work. Nothing's happening. Yes, it is. It's vibrating. Be patient. Who knows how fast it's supposed to work? We'll just have to wait. 
Shoots me fine. We'll split them 50-50, right? Of course. 50-50. Look, there's one. And another! Two. Is that all? Just two? I need more than two. I don't know about that, Brink, but it's a sure thing I need more than one. You still have all the crystals you stole from me and every other place on these islands. Don't touch them! 50-50, you said, Brink. Well, you must have hundreds of life crystals. It's not even 50-50 if I take these two. I knew you were a liar and a cheat. You weren't gonna let me have even one of these. I'll make the machine even better. It will produce more. Not till we're gone, it won't. I need that machine part to run the eye generator. You will take nothing from this machine, you lying thief! Once the eye is working, you can either come back with us to Earth, or you can stay here, take the part out of the eye generator, and put it back in your own machine. Just have a little patience. No! My machine is stopping! You've wrecked my machine! You're a dead man! Brink, please. We don't have to fight. You can have the part back after we're done with it. Everything you say is a lie! Maggie, tell him. If you say a word, Maggie, I'll kill you too! Brink, don't make me hurt you. You won't hurt me when you're dead! Brink! Oh, Maggie, please believe me. I didn't want to hurt him. I didn't want him dead. It wasn't Brink who died here. Brink died when he fell down the hole when we first arrived. What just fell over the cliff was someone else. Someone alien. Created by those death crystals. Maggie, are we making an even worse mistake by activating the eye? Staying in this world any longer than we have to, that's the worst mistake we could make. We've got to do anything we can to survive. But what if we die trying? Don't you get it, Boston? This place is worse than death. I'd rather die than stay here. right. This thing has already killed one of us, but it's back in place. The crystals Brink died for. Robbins. You're the one who read the alien books. What exactly happens when we turn it on with enough life crystals in it? It would have taken me years to read everything, Boston. And I didn't understand half of what I read. 
but there's no doubt that this machine is dangerous. The alien warned us it might cost us more than we expected. What does that mean? It might mean that just turning on the machine might kill us. You mean he booby-trapped the thing? I mean that the machine may draw on more than life crystals. It may drain the life out of whoever uses it. Then I'm running the controls. Don't be absurd. It might do nothing, too. Or it could kill whoever isn't at the controls. I just want to tell you. No goodbyes. We're gonna make it home together, Maggie. I'm not sentimental, Boston. I wasn't going to say goodbye. I just want you to promise me something. After you saw me break every promise I made to Brink, you want me to make another one to you? What happened with Brink couldn't be helped, Boston. I know you'll keep your word with me. What's the promise? If I die, and you live, don't use any life crystals on me. Don't revive me. Do you understand? Are you sure? I saw what Brink became. I don't want that to happen to me. You wouldn't be saving Maggie Robbins. You'd be creating a monster with my memories, my face. Don't do it. Promise me. I promise, Maggie. And vice versa, okay? All right. And now you tell me the truth about something, Maggie. Are you sure you didn't find out somewhere that something bad happens to the person at the controls of this machine? Boston, I don't know any more than you do about what will happen when I switch this thing on. If that's a lie, I'm gonna be really ticked off, Maggie. Yeah, I know. Here we go! is restored. Worth it then. Go home. Maggie. I should have known the inventor would have one more trick up his sleeve. That was the inventor's last chance to stop me. I will get out into Space Time 6. I will bring the people of this place back home, and they will build me a starship that will take me back to Earth. I guess this is the real test. Can a practical guy from Earth do what all the builders of this place failed to do? Can I go into space-time six and still find my way back to reality? Only one way to find out. It's beautiful. A guy could get lost here real easy. No. No, I'm not going any farther into this place. I'm staying here, 
where I can get back out again. You are as strong as we hoped, human. I can understand you. In space-time six, all living minds communicate perfectly. You stand at the doorway, human. You show us all the pathway back to life. To reality. To a place where we will someday die, yes. But we will have a life before we die. Every past and future. I can see them all, but which one is real? Go back now, human. Take me home. My people have their bodies, their bones, their lives again. We owe you a great debt, Commander Lowe. All I want, now that my friends are dead, is to go back to Earth and tell the story of how they died. Why not let them tell their own story? I wish. You knew the way home, but I know all the other paths through time and space. Wait! Don't go back there! brought you a gift. Maggie. Frank. You're alive again. We were lost, but this being found us and led us back. Maggie. I thought I'd lost you forever. So you really didn't try to resurrect me with the crystals? No, I... I promised you. And besides, what the crystals bring back from death, it wouldn't have been you. I know, Boston. You kept your word. And yet, you did find a way to bring me back from death. It wasn't me, but I'm glad you're here. And I'm free of the madness of the crystals, too. You did it, Lo. No, it was our friend here. No, the credit belongs to you. We once revered a great inventor, because he opened the door to unchanging eternity. But you opened the passageway back into true life. All I am is a guy who wants to get back home. Already my people are preparing a great crystal starship to take you there. But we can come back, can't we? You and any others who wish to come. You are a young people. Strong and full of hope and passion. We have much to teach you, and you have much to share with us as well. There will be friendship between our species forever. I hope you're right. Not all human beings are as, uh, nice as us. Oh, I know that. All young species are alike that way. But don't worry. If any of your people try to pick a fight, we'll mash them like bugs. How reassuring. The ship is almost ready. Go home and tell your people what has been accomplished here. Telling the people, that's Maggie's job. And getting us home, that was yours. You did it, Boston. Thank you, Boston. We all thank you, Boston Lowe.
Maggie! Maggie, you liar! You knew this would happen. The eye. It worked. The eye is restored. Worth it then. Go home. Maggie. Oh, no! Lo! I begged you! I have brought you a gift. Maggie! Frank! You're alive again! We were lost, but this being found us and led us back. Maggie! When you died, I... Man, I'm glad to see you. I don't know if I'm glad to see you, Boston. You broke your promise to me. I'm sorry. I just didn't want to go on without you. But you knew that what the crystals bring back isn't life. It wasn't me. But it's you now. Yes. Well, yes, it is. 